What up, what up, what up? All right, guys, uh, my name is Tony Slums. I'm a producer, engineer, and writer. And for today's video, we're actually gonna take a little trip back. Now, I've been talking a lot about engineering a lot more lately. And so what I decided to do was going back on a song that me and Fabi did uh, a while back, back in 2014, it was the first time I actually mixed it down. And uh, this is the way it sound, this is the way it sounded like first. Near life experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles, didn't feel out of breath. Okay, so now what I ended up doing was I ended up going back to it and remixing it. Um, but here's the kicker. I didn't use any of my new plugins. I actually decided to step down from the plugins I had used in that recent mix and only use stock plugins. That means if you have Pro Tools, it's gonna be all the plugins that you will have from the very beginning without having to buy any Waves, UAD, Ozone, nothing like that. And this is the way it sounds now. Near life experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles, didn't feel out of breath. I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees nothing left. Emotion like a hex slowly leave me to guess. Pretending like I'm leaving with my feet still. Cool. So, what I want to show you guys on this video is I'm going to show you how I got from point A to point B. Um, so, if you're on IGTV, go ahead and start turning your phone sideways. If you're on YouTube, don't even worry about it. Of course, it's already going to stay the same. And, uh, yeah, man. Hope y'all like this. Hey, how's it going, guys? All right, so let's uh, pick it up where we're at. First things first, let's listen to it the way it is already completed. Oh, no. Near life experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles, didn't feel that's out of the, breath. So that's the Fabi verse. Here Live is... This life without you. Opportunity knocking, but I thought she had the house keys staring at the bottle wouldn't matter. That's your boy right there rapping. Now, what we're gonna do is, as you can see, because I didn't use the majority of my tools, there was a lot more work that I had to do on this one. Um, that's really why I believe we use more of these like type of plugins right here, like Pro Q, is that it does help in getting to where we want to go faster now another thing i forgot to mention earlier is that we recorded this on a sterling audio microphone it's a 200 hundred dollar microphone it ain't great um plus we recorded this in a trailer aka cooking in the kitchen um so a lot of the raw vocals are fucking shitty okay so like for fabi's let's uh get rid of all of these plugins that we have and you guys can hear how it sounds raw um, that way we have some sort of an idea and I did mute the beat as well experience I should have muted the beat as well experience in the valley of death I walked a thousand miles didn't feel out of breath I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees nothing left emotion like a hack slowly leave me to so right there what you can hear right off the bat is that there is a reverb and there is uh, I did EQ it so on the main vocal, on the actual vocal itself, it's kind of raw. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles. But you do hear like that that sound. That it's it's like it's just. It was a two hundred dollar microphone, guys, and not to mention we had like a towel on the wall that we were using as padding. Trash, but you know it is what it is. Now uh, the first thing that I started when I started working on um, Fabi's verse was I doubled up a lot of his vocals because by itself. It was very, very uh, low and experience in the valley of death. The mistake that we normally do is that we rack up the gain on this. Wow. And, you know, we raise it up right here on this little thing right here that, that can move it. I'll use that from time to time. But for the most part, I'm trying to teach myself not to get on it. Um, so what I normally do is um, and I don't know if it's good or bad, but what I do is I do double up the vocals and then I pan them. A little bit left and right not hard pan or nothing like that just something to kind of like give it a um, more uh, girth for lack of a better term experience in the valley of death I walked so a thousand a little, miles so right there it's a little bit louder and then what I did on the right pan because I wanted to kind of give it like a nice air on it I did throw another EQ on it and this one um, was cutting out more of the lows um, really emphasis on the highs because I wanted like a high reverb um, and I use Dverb again. All of these are the plugins that come directly with uh, Pro Tools from the very beginning. 
So now with this, this is his vocals. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand so miles. So it gives a little bit of reverb. Breath. Um, might be a little bit too much. Might turn that down some more. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand. There you go. All right. So, and again, this is the thing with mixing. We could be like, yo, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. But perfection is never actually found. If you really go back on all your mixes, even the mixes that you're the happiest with, you'll probably find something to fuck with. Um, so I avoid it as much as possible. Uh, once the song is done, it's done. I get out of it. Um, next, what I did on the backgrounds, I uh, panned them again left and right as well. And I brought them down a little bit. I didn't really want them to be in your face. Um, but because his voice is so commanding, um, I did want to put them uh, a little bit more panned out. So that it kind of like, you know, just it's not competing. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a so thousand saying? miles, didn't feel out of breath. I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees nothing left. So that's the main vocal for him right off the bat. Uh, listening to it with the beat, you'll hear that the vocal is probably still a little bit lower um, than it should be. So here's with the beat now. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles, didn't feel out of breath. I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees nothing left. Emotion like a hex slowly leave me to guess. And this is really what I be doing when I'm mixing. I I only listen like maybe the first four eight bars. Um, I don't I don't want to tire out my ears as much as possible. So I I do tend to just kind of like all right step by step step by step step by step. Let me focus on the first eight bars, and then after that, if I can make the the first four eight bars sound good, it's kind of safe to assume that the rest of the bars are gonna be pretty on the same plane it might take some automation but that's a whole nother video a whole nother day a whole nother year in a reality all right so let's uh now let's go to his actual vocal chain um there's our de-esser our seven band eq our compressor and then normally what i do after i'm already done with um, what i like i'll add a secondary eq um just in case there's any trans any any frequencies i'm not liking or feeling um and i'll go from there all right so what we're gonna do right now is i'm gonna mute the beat again and then we are gonna listen to the to the vocals as the uh as the different plugins start kicking in all right so first thing first is gonna be the de -er as a regular vocal chain experience in the valley of death i walked a thousand miles didn't feel out of right. breath i wonder if she'll leave so that right there got rid of his uh the the sibilance a little bit too much. Let's uh, let's bring down this to 1024. There's no reason why it should be at 64. I'm not recording. And guys, keep a keep a look on your playback engine. I mean, you know, don't destroy your computer. All right, so there we are. Experience yes, in the next. It was uh, my EQ. So the way I normally go about my EQs when I first start working with it is I do the notch filtering to look for any. Um, shitty frequencies i don't like and what that means is that while i'm listening to the recording experience in the I'll valley of rack death. Up it up. i walked a thousand miles didn't, didn't feel out of and breath listen I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees me. and listen for those hollow tubing uh like just the stuff that annoys your ear you gotta remember when it comes down to engineering and engineering a lot of it is just i hate the sound and i need to get rid of it or i like the sound and i need more of it so um don't destroy your ears but at the same time, you have to make them uncomfortable because your 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 preference is what people uh, go to you for. They're going to you to engineer and to mix their album because they trust your preference. All right. Um, so I look for this notch filtering and then I uh, turn it down. Get rid of that. Sh you know what I mean? Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles. So that gave it a little bit. Of, it's a little bit dull, but it's still, you know, it's it's what I want. I want a clean sound. Next, of course, is my compression. This is going to raise up the vocal a little bit more, give it a little bit more meat, as well as kind of evening out some things. Experience in the valley of death. I walked a thousand miles, didn't feel out of breath. I wonder if she'll leave me now when she sees Now the last one is going to be my last uh, EQ. Um, I, there was some um, frequencies that I wasn't happy with, some the low end and a little bit on the high mid. Um, and I decided to kind of get rid of that. Actually, that's more of the mid range. Um, and so this is his voice now. All the plugins, everything in order, um, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. All right. And let's hear it. Experience in the valley of death. I now walked a thousand for the miles, beat. didn't feel out of breath. I wonder if she'll leave me when she sees nothing left. Emotion like a hex slowly leave me to guess. Pretending like I'm leaving with my feet still standing. Trying to steal your juices, trying to keep this handy. Boom. 
there we go. So that's Fabi's vocals. Um, again, I'm, I'm really going through this fairly quick. Now we'll go to my vocals. Um, biggest mistake most people do is, and mistake I used to do a lot was, well, I already got one sounding. Let me just add it on the same track and use the exact same plugins and the exact same frequencies and the exact same settings. I have a lisp. It'd be stupid for me to do that on Fabi's uh, vocal chain because it's only going to make my shit sound worse. But I did not uh, use the de on mine because I cut a lot of the frequencies on mine as well, too. So let's go. Boom. And last EQ. So this one is really it is my vocal chain was EQ, de EQ. Chaos, chaos, chaos. All right, so let's listen to me without anything first. Dying, can't live this life without you. Opportunity knocking, but I thought she had the house key. Staring at this bottle wouldn't matter without me. It'd take a stroll in my soul, you can feel it where it. And I did the same thing as I did with his, where I, I doubled up a lot of my vocals, and then uh, here's the EQ and the D and the the reverb on my vocals dying can't live this life without you opportunity knocking but i thought she had the house key staring at this bottle wouldn't matter without me it take a stroll same thing i did with soul. the hook you feel it wear it in the cold stick a tone now i'm reaching the end all right so there we have it right there now let's go to the next one first thing is going to be the seven band eq the original one um with mine uh, my transients are a little bit more annoying on this range uh, that's just where my voice is at so i did uh cut that down a lot more so here it is again dying can't live this life without and we're just gonna be adding it this time a little bit faster she had the house key staring at this bottle wouldn't matter compressor without me and take a stroll in my soul you can feel it wear it in the cold stick a tone Next. now i'm reaching the end i heard it's best just to keep it end. simple but the complex my complex now, and i'm simply beat. fickle don't place me on a pedestal i enjoy the low road born into an emerald i relate to the coast toxins in my lungs methodical suicide i still got a lot to go but i'm and that's pretty much it guys all right so that was on the two uh vocals here's the hook the hook was chaos because um this was when fabi was starting off with his singing um and because i know he's very particular uh i'm not gonna let y'all hear it without the effects on it um that way y'all can just hear how it sounds all right so here it is so many days they slipping away Actually, you know what? Let's go through it. No effects. No chorus. No reverb. No additional chorus. Now, bring them back. Near life experience in the battle. Now, if you're wondering why didn't I just use the exact same one, it's a, it's his voice, right? Well, he's singing. He's going with a little bit more of a. A whisper type of singing it wasn't um as beefy or as in your face as his uh rap so that's why i needed a completely different type of uh get out of there it needed a completely uh different focal chain and that is the mixing portion oh yeah and on the beat i didn't change like nah i'm, I'm keeping my pro eqs and everything on there but um on the vocals so that's it guys it's not as daunting as most people make it out to be but it here's the one thing you have to understand especially if you're going down the path of engineering when it comes down to engineering time is going to be your biggest biggest help more than spending your money on different plugins on different type of stuff what you really want to do you want to invest your time and you want to protect your ears and you want to learn to listen to those frequencies that other the, the normal listener won't listen to and here's the bad thing about it you're gonna hate music for a bit and you're gonna listen to music completely different than anyone else while everyone else is enjoying the latest song you're gonna be like this fool messed up the mix but if you're gonna go down the path of engineering it's gonna, you're gonna hate it a little bit you know what i mean it's fun it's it's i do enjoy the engineering aspect of it but it is something that you do want to keep in mind um so yeah man don't think only you you only have to buy the latest and greatest plugins nah you can use stock anything and you can make some shit sound good at the end of the day it's your preference people fuck with your preference all right guys uh you guys don't need a like or follow but please if you can if you think this actually uh touch somebody share it